everyone, I'm Yvonne from UM. Today, I would like to share a bit about my project on the epitope mapping for Nipah virus repregnance. Nipah virus is a zoonotic virus that infects both animals and humans, and it was discovered in Malaysia in 1998. Nipah virus outbreak in countries like India, Bangladesh, and the Philippines have reported high case fatality rates. The therapist food rats are the primary host of the virus. As for clinical symptoms, Nipah virus causes severe encephalitis and infections in the respiratory tract, and this virus can be transmitted through the contaminated food or directly between people. Currently, there are no drugs or vaccines specific for Nipah virus infection. The Nipah virus particle has six structural proteins, namely N, P, M, F, G, and L, and they are arranged in the 3' to 5' order. There are two distinct Nipah virus surface glycoproteins, and they play an essential role in the entry of virus into host cells. The G protein, which is responsible for the host cell receptor binding, whereas the F protein, which mediates the membrane fusion between the virus and the host cells. Epitopes or antigenic determinants is the region of an antigen that binds to a B or T cell receptor on the antibody molecule. Since an epitope is the part of the antigen that binds to the B or T cell antigen receptor, it is the part that determines the antigenicity of an antigen. T and B cell recognize different epitopes on an antigen. Each different proteins all glycoproteins of the virus constitute a different antigen, and each different antigen contains a number of different epitopes. And next, what is immunoinformatics? Immunoinformatics, also known as computational immunology, it is the interface between computer science and experiment immunology. It involves the use of computational methods and the resources for understanding the immunological formations. Prediction of B and T cell epitopes has long been the focus of immunoinformatics, and many tools have been developed since then. Therefore, this leads to the main objective of this study, which is to predict the B and T cell epitopes of Nipah virus in silico, and to use the convalescent sera and PBMC to determine the antigenicity of the predicted epitopes. This is a flow diagram overview of the methodology for this study. Here is the summary of the online servers used for the immunoinformatics part. Various online servers were used in the prediction process and the predicted results were compared to obtain the potentially antigenic epitopes. From the conserved region of Nipah G and F protein, potential immunogenic epitopes were identified. Top candidates' epitopes are shown in this table. The epitopes fulfill all the preliminary screening parameters of having antigenicity more than the threshold of 0.5 and to be non-allergen, non-toxic, highly conserved and non-homologous with any other human proteins. Furthermore, we have used the docking methods to validate the efficacy of selected epitopes in binding with their respective HLA alleles. The epitopes along with their respective docking alleles, binding affinity, interaction and residues involved in the hydrogen bonds are shown in this figure. The epitopes having the best binding affinity with the HLA molecules will proceed to experimental validation. And in summary, epitopes derived from the F and G proteins were successfully identified by immunoinformatics tools. The epitopes were predicted to be non-toxic, antigenic, non-allergen, non-homologous, and conserved. And they are also having binding interaction with their respective alleles. And these epitopes are expected to be antigenic and would induce an immune response. Further experiment validation will be carried out using convalescent serum to assess the antigenicity of the predicted T and B cell epitope in stimulating the immune response. That's all from me. Thank you.